السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد today we are going to another village and uh, it's around 50 kilometers rough road uh, as you can see the environment right now we are in the rural outskirts of Tanzania very remote areas and uh, we are near the wildlife so we are going to do down near the wildlife um, Sometimes it's very dangerous because uh, at night normally some elephants would cross by or some uh, hippos would come across. So we will be doing mass down in this village. We have one uh, challenge though. When we had organized for this mass down, which, which is going to be done today inshallah, then we got a call yesterday night from the village authority that they also have a meeting with the villagers. And it is around the same time that we wanted to do the mass down. So, in a way, we were supposed to start early, but we might delay. But uh, as the code of honor of Ayera says, never say die, we are still going. We will attain the village council uh, village meeting. And once they finish their talk, whatever time it will be, we will gather again around and talk to the people. So, Stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you updated once we arrive. And uh, yeah, that's it. Zakumal Khan. We are here somewhere from the middle of nowhere in Tanzania. It's quite sunny and uh, as you can see it's very rural. The brothers are there relaxed, chilling out. And we have like about an hour to go. We've just stopped to relax because uh, we've been driving for two hours now. The road is very tiring but uh, inshallah we'll be there soon. So keep us in your dua. We are going to visit the village and do mass dawa. See you soon. Alhamdulillah, we have arrived here in uh, the village. As you can see, it's a very busy village, and there's a masjid also uh, where the brothers have camped. And inshallah, very soon we will start the mass dawah. We're going to pray now, and uh, inshallah later on we will uh, start the mass dawah, depending on when the village council will finish their uh, meeting. Then we will start inshallah. So the brothers are here, all well prepared. This is, these are one of our motorbikes, the dawah bikes that uh, we use. Alhamdulillah. So our brother will be using it here in the village as well to do dawah. And we are here to see the work, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. We are now heading to the village meeting and uh, inshallah we will be there, we will be attending the meeting and once they finish the meeting we will start our master hour. So we've arrived here an hour ago, we've waited until the meeting starts and we've been told that the meeting has started, so we are going there to be part of the meeting inshallah. We just arrived here in the village and as you can see behind me the meeting is going on so we'll attend the meeting and after the meeting we'll do our master inshallah. See you soon.
So Alhamdulillah, we arrived in this village four hours ago and uh, we were told there is a village meeting and uh, we had to respect, though it was not planned, they had agreed that we would do the meeting today, the mass hour. But Alhamdulillah, we stayed here, we listened to the meeting and we benefited a lot. So in the next 10 minutes or so, we will be going and doing mass hour. These are the challenges we get. Some of the villages we go, we do evaluation, we do analysis, and then we speak to the village council, and they agree on us to do mass dawa. But then at the end, they come and they tell us they have meetings and this and that. So part of the challenge we accept, and as our motto says, never say die. We keep on pushing, and inshallah, we will be doing the mass dawa in a short while. Uh, keep us in your dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ni wasalimieni tena amani ya bwana iwe juu yenu kwa jina mimi naitwa Moki Kitandu Labia narudia tena naitwa Moki Kitandu Labia nani ameshika hilo jina ah hakuna zawadi nani bwana Omar Alioko na kizawadi karibu naomba sogee. <laughs> Kuna watu hawajashika ili jina mara ya pili hiyo. Lakini mimi naamini siku zote wa Tanzania huwa ni wajanja. Mmekaa kwa ajili ya kazi ya maendeleo. Na sisi ni katika sehemu ya maendeleo kwenu. Kubwa sisi ni kulingania dini, kufikisha amani kwa njia ya dalili, ubinadamu na upendo bila kugusa wala kuharibu wala kugusa sera ya dini nyingine toko pamoja haya nawauliza maswali kama ifuatavyo Mungu hakosei na malaika walimhoji Mungu na Mungu akawajibu nyinyi hamjui yale ambayo ninayajua mimi kwa mfano tusiende mbali hapo msikitini tu hapo kama kuna mlango umedondoka nyinyi mtapata habari lakini Mungu anajua kinachotokea Marekani kinachotokea Mbea kinachotokea China kwa hiyo Mungu anasema anaambia malaika nyinyi hamjui ambaye anayajua mimi sasa Mungu ili awe Mungu na malaika watambue kwamba huyu ni Mungu na sisi tutambue na sisi ndio viongozi tuloletwa hapa lazima tuwe na sifa kuu tatu bwana Ifrem Unahisi sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu ni sifa gani? Sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu anawapenda viumbe wake. Sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu anawapenda viumbe wake. Hiyo sio sifa ya Mungu. Hiyo ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Haya, tunampa nafasi nyingine. Bwana Nasiri, sifa ya Mungu ili huyu awe Mungu Tujue kama huyu ni Mungu sababu ukisema anawapenda watu wake hata mimi nawapenda watu wangu. Jamani mimi Mungu mtanikubali. Mtanichapa bakora hapa. Mpaka kieleweke uongo kweli. Eh, hey. ehe, jaribu tena. Bora nasi. Sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu ni uvumilivu. Haya. <laughs> Jamani Mungu ana sifa nyingi sana. Na sifa ambazo hata binadamu wanazo haziwezi kuwa sifa za nani? Tuwape tena nafasi au kuna wengine wanakuja. Tuwape tena nafasi. Kuna mtu anataka kujaribu hapo njoo mzee wangu. Uumbaji. Bwana Nasir anasema uumbaji. Hiyo sio sifa yake, hiyo ni kazi yake kuumba. Tunazungumzia sifa. Aha mzee, yuko wapi? Oh, yeah. Karibu bwana. So. Mwana wa Mungu. Eh sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu kama ulisema mwezeshaji anasifa nyingi. Uh-huh. Ya kwanza kabisa ni uumbaji wa, wa dunia. Uh-huh. Hiyo ni kazi yake. Sifa. Lakini sifa nyingine ni kutuletea <laughs> Haya naomba niwasaidie kidogo. Nawasaidie ili mpate majibu. Nimesema Haya njoo mzee wangu. Mzee anajibu hapo. Wewe ni mjumbe wa kamati gani kwanza? Eh, kamati ya ulinzi na usalama. Kamati Una uhakika? 
<laughs> Tuna mwanajeshi hapa. Mpe mic. Sifa kuu ya Mungu. Kwanza naitwa Alfeo Chetengi. Sawa. Sifa kuu ya Mungu, yeye ni mwanzo na mwisho wa kula mwingine badili yake. <laughs> unakaribia, unakaribia. Hiyo sio sifa yake. Naam, karibu. Kwa majina naitwa Ali Jackson Sasha. Mm. Sifa ya Mungu ni kuabudiwa. Haya, ah. ndio mechi. Bwana Kitandu, wewe unahisi ni nini kinatokea hapa? Kwa nini watu wanakosea sana? Mimi nahisi nahisi ni kwa sababu watu wamemsahau Mungu. Uongo ukweli. Iku za Mungu ni tatu tu. Bwana Kitandu, ndio. Hebu tupe sifa moja labda ya pili na ya tatu ataijua. Sifa ya kwanza ya Mungu katika hizo tatu Mungu ni mjuzi. Jamani tuirejee sifa. Mungu ni mjuzi. Wote tuseme hivyo. Haya. Naomba nitoe mfano. Samaha. Kabla hujatoa mfano. Niliwaambia majibu si nimewapa. Kitu kikitokea msikitini pale nyinyi mtajua. Ila Mungu anajua. Mungu ni nani? Hiyo ndo sifa ya Mungu. Kwa hiyo kama kuna binadamu hapa anafahamu kila kitu kinachoendelea katika dunia hii basi ajitambulisha tumtambue kama yeye ni Mungu pia. Yupo? Kama yupo anyoshe mkono au akumute tanzi vitu muone. Kwa hiyo Mungu ni nani? Ni mujuzi wa kila kitu. Kila kinachoendelea katika dunia hii na katika sayari zingine ambazo sisi hatupo, Mungu ni mjuzi, anajua. Ila haya. Sifa kuu ya pili ya Mungu, Mungu ni muweza wa kila kitu. Mungu ni nini? Akishajua kila kitu manake anaweza kufanya kila kitu. Saa hizi Mungu akiamua hapa idondoke mvua inanyesha mvua. Akisema litoke jua linatoka jua. Si ndio? Hatuzirudie sifa kuu za Mungu. Ya kwanza mjuzi, ya pili Ya tatu Jamani Mungu yupo hayupo. Yupo hayupo. Mungu huyu Hivi sasa tujue wako wangapi? Hebu kwanza tuwaulize, hebu waulize. Mimi pengine naweza kana kosea. Tunataka kutambua na kufahamu waungu wako wangapi? Asante sana. Bwana Hasan, bwana Hasan, na hiyo jina lako nani? Waungu wengine wanaingiaangia. Hiyo anaita Juma Muinga. Juma Muinga. Asante. Bwana Juma Muinga na bwana Hasan wanasema Mungu yuko mmoja. Bwana Kitandu. Ndiyo. Mungu katuleta kwa kusidiwa la ibada. Ibada hii tunaifanyaje? Ibada kwa sababu Mungu ndo alituumba na kutuleta tutekeleze ibada, ni lazima tuitekeleza kupitia mwongozo aliotupatia. Kwa sababu siku zote hata unapoenda dukani kununua simu, kununua maji haya ya kunywa kwenye chupa, unapewa na mwongozo namna ya kutumia. Naamini nyinyi mnaponunua mbolea mnaandikiwa kwenye mifuko yenu juu mwongozo wa kutumia unatumia kiwango gani katika shimo moja la mmea wako kwao tunatekeleza ibada kwa sisi kutumia mwongozo alioleta yeye Mungu mmoja ehe mzee jina wako nani naitwa Damson Cosmas unaitwa nani Damson Cosmas ehe tutaje kitabu kimoja Orani pamoja na na vitabu vya hadithi ya mtume subiri kwanza Tutajie kitabu na nani alishushiwa? Orani alishushiwa nani? Mtume Muhammad. Jina lako nani? Damson Cosmas. Bwana Damson anasema, subiri njoo bwana, siondoke. Bwana Damson anasema moja katika vitabu vitakatifu alivyoshusha Mungu ni Korani na alimshushia Mtume Muhammad. Amepatia amekosea? Amepatia amekosea? Amepata Juma Hasani Eh na lazimaje kuna nabii mmoja anaitwa nabii Isa. Eh eh yeye ndio pia na nabii katika hiyo kuna mtukufu. Alishushio kitabu gani? Ni kitabu huzu moja sikumbuki lakini nakumbuka kidogo. Haya. Bwana Hasan akasema nabii Isa ambaye ni Yesu, si ndio? Kwa sababu ukikumbuki kitabu nenda kwanza kapumzike. 
Jamani, mjuzi ni nani peke yake? Mungu. Jina lako nani? Naitwa Edison Gibbs. Ah, tutajie kitabu unachokijua wewe na nani alikileta. Kitabu unachokijua mimi ni Biblia ambayo maandiko yake kimeuadhirishwa na Musa. Nani jina lako? Derek. Derek anasema Biblia imeshushiwa Musa. Amepata amekosea. Musa tuseme kwa pamoja. Taurati cha nani? Na cha tatu ni injili. Alishushiwa nani? Yesu. Na cha nne ni Qur'an. Alishushiwa nani? Muhammad. Ndugu zanguni, maandiko yote haya matakatifu kutoka baba yetu Adam mpaka mtume wetu Muhammad wote walikuja kumtumikia Mungu mmoja ambaye ni muweza ambaye ni mjuzi ambaye ni anajitegemea na yeye ndio kila kitu katika dunia hii hana mfano na kiumbe chochote na hata mmoja wao hawakupishana katika ibada na tutazunguka katika nyumba mbalimbali msituogope wala msitufukuze maneno ya Mungu hayafanya nini hayakataliwi sawa na tunakuja kwa amani kabisa ukiona kuna tatizo lolote unaruhusiwa kuja kuuliza ili ufundishwe siku zote mjinga anakuwa mjinga mara moja akishapewa elimu anakuwa sio mjinga tena si ndio kwa hiyo mtukaribishe na sisi tutakuwa na nyinyi pamoja tutaendelea kwa hapa mahubiri ya Mungu sisi ni watu wa amani hatutaki ugomvi wala hatujaja kuja kuleta ugomvi wowote wa dini yoyote kwa sababu sera yetu ni moja kutoka baba yetu Adam mpaka mtume wetu Muhammad wote walikuja kueneza dini moja sasa kama kuna mtu ana dini nyingine ailete hapa tuungulize alitoa wapi Ume, amezungumza kama mmemwangalia kwa makini mmesikiliza vizuri ametaja vitabu kwa kuwapa zawadi wanafunzi kuna kitabu cha Zaburi amesema mmoja wa mshiriki alipewa Daudi kuna kitabu cha Taurati alichopewa Musa kuna kitabu cha injili aliyopewa Yesu Kristo kuna kitabu cha Qur'ani aliyokuwa amepewa Muhammad kana kwamba mwisho akamalizia kusema ya kwamba manabii wote walikuja kuhubiri dini mmoja mimi naomba nikuulize swali Unataka kutuambia injili ipo ndani ya Qur'an? Bwana Bilali, kitando Naomba nikwambie kitu kimoja. Mimi nimeisoma sana Qur'an. Mpaka imefika mahali nimeacha kuisoma. Sasa naisoma Biblia. Na nimeisoma sana Biblia. Kila nikifungua ukurasa katika Biblia, nikirifaa katika Qur'an na kuta nukta ni zile zile. Changamoto moja tu nilipata labda tu niweke wazi kwamba unavoliona agano la kale katika Biblia kama lilivyo lipo ndani ya Korani Zaburi ipo ndani ya Korani Taurati ipo ndani ya Korani ni kwangu na kila Biblia kuniagano jipya imezungumza jambo tofauti na lingine katika baadhi ya maandiko nikaja kugundua kwamba wale walioandika walikuwa na maslahi yao binafsi kutaka kuupotosha umma lakini mimi wala wewe hatuna nguvu ya kuweza kukaa na kubishana nao wabadilishe kinachobakia ni kwamba tujue kwamba Mungu alileta vitabu hivi na walishushia mitume na wote walikubaliana kitu kimoja na nilitoa mfano kwamba hata mimi kesho nikiamua kuleta dini yangu nina uwezo kufanya hivyo lakini nitakuwa najidanganya mwenyewe na wadanganya wanaidodi lakini namdanganya Mungu vile vile na katika injili imetajwa mahali lakini na Qur'ani kasibitisha Mungu alimuuliza Yesu hivi wewe Yesu pamoja na mama yako ndio mnawaambia watu waabudu nyinyi pasina mimi sikiliza Yesu aliwajibu nini alimjibu Mungu alimjibu Mungu Yesu kwamba Mungu ikiwa mimi nafanya hivyo basi wewe tayari unajua mpaka usiniulize kwa sababu wewe Mungu unayajua yaliyokuwa ndani ya nafsi yangu na mimi sijui yaliyokuwa ndani ya nafsi yako. Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu tusifike huko sababu sio mada yake 
tukianza kuzungumza hivi tutaenda mambo marefu na sio muda wake leo tumejitambulisha na muda ni mchache naomba ufunge kikao cha leo na uwati. Mimi malize kusema hivi jamani swala la hili tulilolizungumza kwamba Mungu ni mmoja na ana sifa tatu na Mungu ndio pekee anayofaa kutukuzwa na kuabudiwa na kila kiumbe na jukumu letu sisi wanadamu tuliletwa ili tuje tumtukuze Mungu mmoja huu ndio mfumo kamili wa maisha ya Uislamu kwamba kumtukuza Mungu mmoja kutekeleza ibada na sisi kuishi na wanajamii wa karibu na mbali kwa wema tunaowafahamu na tusiowafahamu tuishi nao kwa wema ndio mafundisho ya vitabu ya injili ndio mafundisho ya kitabu cha Qur'ani ndio mafundisho ya kitabu cha Taurati vitabu vyote vya Mungu vinatuelekeza tufanye hivyo nimemalize kwa nukta nyingine pia jamani kuingia katika Uislamu sio swala zito bali ni mtu kutamka maneno ya kukiri ya kwamba hapana Mungu apasaye kutukuzwa kwa haki isipokuwa Mungu mmoja na Muhammad ni nabii wa Mungu na Yesu ni nabii wa Mungu lakini tunaweza kujiuliza ni ipi faida ya wewe kuyatamka maneno haya ukaingia katika mrengo wa imani ya Kiislamu angalizo hakuna kubadilisha jina ni wewe tu imani ndio inayohitajika nitaje hizo faida kwa uchache ukiwa katika mrengo huu Mungu kwa andiko lake kwa kinywa chake ametamka ya kwamba yale yaliyotangulia katika madhambi ukishaingia yeye anakusamehe yote yaliyopita lakini mwisho ni kwamba ufalme wa Mungu ufalme wa Bwana pia utauona mimi niishie katika hili lakini naomba na wewe utoe kaudi yako ya mwisho kabisa tuishie hapa. Jamani asanteni sana. Shahadi. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Allah. Ashhadu anna anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Nashuhudia kwa moyo na kutamka kwa ulimi kwamba hakuna Mungu apasaye kuabudiwa kwa haki isipokuwa Mungu mmoja tu na ana mshirika nashuhudia kwa moyo na kutamka kwa ulimi kwamba Muhammad mtume wa Mungu na Yesu ni mtume wa Mungu So as you can see immediately after the mass dawa people come and they follow us and they accept Islam privately they don't want to be done in public so we keep on sharing and inshallah we will report back in 3 or 4 days inshallah the results of this village bidin lai so as we are doing now people are having food they're getting around we cook some food for them and uh, our out specialists are going to individually to speak to them some of them are very receptive and they've already accepted it's uh, almost uh, maghrib time right now and people are moving away from their from the area that we've done dawa but still our out specialists are going around giving them the insights of islam and people accepting islam allahu akbar